Good morning everyone, welcome to my 23rd birthday vlog. So I've decided to vlog today because I have never had a birthday like this before where I'm not really able to do anything. I have pretty much travelled every birthday since I was 19, so like four years now. And I vlogged last year's birthday as well, we were on the Isle of Wight last year. And I just thought I'd vlog and just document the day really because I don't really ever have much going on in my life other than the fact that I travel sometimes. I do a couple of hauls and lookbooks and you know things like that but when it comes to birthdays and stuff it's just a little bit different isn't it the day just goes a little bit more different compared to your other days so i'm going to film whatever goes on today i have no idea what's going on for you guys who want to know my original plans for my birthday was to head off to america we would have landed yesterday and today we would have been we would have woken up in new york and we would have been going to watch a broadway show tonight going around Staten Island and just basically exploring, going to Champ's Diner which is a really cool vegan restaurant which I've researched and it would have been just an amazing unique experience so super gutted. I keep thinking about what I would be doing now if I was in America and it's just really really sad so I'm going to try my best to make the most of today. Things are slowly opening up but it just still feels a little bit weird to go out and do those things if you know what I mean. Yeah I cannot believe I am 23 years old today like oh my god where are the years going? I still feel like I'm 17 I just I'm not ready to get old yet I don't think. I feel like I've got an old soul anyway, but I'm just not ready to have the numbers to go alongside with it, you know? We're going to go and get some breakfast now. I bought a few pieces yesterday in Aldi, and we're just going to mix them together, make a platter or something, like I do every year. One thing I do want to show you guys before I get up and have my breakfast. Next door, there are some really cute squirrels, and every day they feed them. And there's some little baby ones on there, the cutest little things, so... I'm going to try and get them on camera if I can. So the uh, squirrels tend to sit in this little birdhouse. I don't know how because the birdhouse is quite small. Um, eating the peanuts which is quite cute. There don't seem to be any around today. But there is a cute little bird sat there. I'm glad that the neighbours... Oh look, there they are. There he is. There he goes, spider man and down the fence. Honestly, this is the best part of the morning. Oh, so cute. So as you can see I've just made my bed because there's nothing worse than waking up and having a messy bed to go back to later tonight. So made the bed, at least that's one chore out of the way. Lovely. So for my breakfast today I've got some corn sausages, corn ham and cheese and I'm going to make a vegan scrambled tofu with the organic tofu there. And then I've also got some baked beans and we're going to make a little vegan fry up type of thing so let's go and make that and this is what it looks like and there we have it this is my breakfast for my birthday we've got two vegetarian sausages tofu scramble which looks a little bit gross but trust me it's just absolutely incredible i've got baked beans pieces of toast and then a nice glass of orange juice so that's my breakfast there's nothing else left to do other than gobble it all up. So I've just finished eating my breakfast. I am completely stuffed if I'm being honest. That was so filling and Josh has got a little surprise for me. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So really excited. Is it an apple? An orange. Happy birthday. Thank you Josh. Got to get me vitamin C in. Yeah, you don't eat enough. No. This little bag. Orange. Thank you very much. Ooh. What is it? <gasps> Shut up. Well, you've actually got me it. <gasps> Nintendo Switch. Is this the one that you actually put onto the TV? Yeah, we've got to unplug the PlayStation now. I've got to open it. There's loads in here. What the hell? Sick. I am kitted out. Nee, nee, nee. Literally the coolest present ever. I'm going to spend an hour or two setting this up and come back to you guys once I've got this in full full action. Oh my god, I can't believe it, it's so exciting. I haven't had a Nintendo or anything like this or any kind of gaming console since I was about 11 years old so this is just amazing. So I guess it's always been kind of a tradition of mine to wear like a blue colour on my birthday so I'm currently looking through my wardrobe for some inspiration on what to wear. 
So this is the dress that I'm considering wearing. To be honest, I don't really have many other options when it comes to like dressing up for my birthday on a day that is raining and no plans. But I'm gonna wear either this one or I do have a couple of like blue ones in here as well. One of them I wore last year, which I think was this one. I don't know what to wear. So because of the weather, I've just decided to go for a pair of jeans and this really gorgeous top, which I picked up from the Saffron range with In The Style. I think this one was like 28 pounds. These jeans were 15 pounds and they're like a culotte high-waisted mom jean kind of thing and then I've paired this with my nasty gal white heeled boots which I am really really obsessed with I knew today was the day I'm gonna whip these bad boys out I'm not sure if you can see but I've also got these little silver sparkly hoops in as well which I picked up from Primark I'm gonna head off do my hair and put a little bit of makeup on and see how this looks comes together I feel like I might change the trousers because they just make me look a lot more wider I have now finished doing my hair and my makeup. I've decided to stick to this outfit only because it just feels a lot more practical. I don't know what I'm doing today. So at least I feel like I've made an effort and I can still adventure if that's the plan for today. So I decided to come out in my hallway because I feel like it makes more sense to do this in or using a mirror. So yeah, we've got the wrap top here, which is just super cute. I love this. The fit is super, super nice as well. And then for the trousers, I've just got these blue denim high-waisted flared trousers and I think they look really nice. So yeah, this is my outfit for today. I am gutted that I can't really wear like a dress or anything, but I just don't want to look ridiculous outside wearing a summer dress when it's pouring down the rain. So it is a little bit later on in the day. I'm now at my mum's house and I'm just going to show you guys some of the baking stuff that we did yesterday. So me and Josh baked a little bit. Josh has never really made a cake. Like for the five years that we've been together, I've never seen him bake. He does a lot of his own cooking for work and meals, stuff like that, but he doesn't really get out a whisk and mix up anything sweet. So I'm gonna show you guys what he's made me. So this is Josh's banana cake. As you can see, it's not too bad for a first time. I think you can't really go bad for a banana cake in general. They're quite simple to create in terms of like ingredients and stuff. But yeah, this is Josh's banana cake. And I think, well, we, as you can see, we've already tucked into it a little bit. Josh loves it. I love it. I just think it's such a nice, soft piece of cake to eat. And then the things that I made yesterday were these brownies. Now I've been trying to master my own brownie recipe for such a long time and I feel like they are really, really good. I've got bourbons in this one and then I've made some blondies which are the first time I've ever made them. So they are a little bit, a little bit gooey. They're not as put together as the other ones, as you can see. I feel like they could have done with another like 10 minutes in the oven, but you know, they're pretty good for a first time. I've basically put some vegan Nutella over them and then just use a toothpick just to create those shapes on the top. And then I've stuck a shortbread biscuit in the middle. So yeah, that's what I've made. This is what Josh has made. I love all things cake. So on my birthday just had to be done. Yeah, love them. Me and Arma are having um, this. I don't even know what it is because I'm so bad at like alcohol and stuff. It's a strawberry and watermelon vodka crush homemade cocktail. We've got some lemonade, some randomly placed ice cubes and 
some mint leaves because we had these when we went to Menorca and just thought they would be perfect to add into our cocktails. So let's put a couple of those in. Lovely. Some super sweet strawberry. <laughs> Voila. And these straws, by the way, are recyclable. So there we have it. This is our DIY cocktails at home. And this is how we're going to be spending the evening. The boys have gone to football training, so we're going to order up an Indian takeaway because that is my favourite. So our Indian has just arrived. We've got, I think I've got two poppadoms because you don't like them, do you, Mum? No. We've got some chips because they're the best around the town. I've got some aloo gabi. I'm not quite sure if this is 100% vegan, but it's as close as I can get and I just love it so much. So I get it every time. Oh, very hot. Mum's got chicken tikka masala. This is possibly pilau rice. And then we've got vegetable rice. Sorted for the night. I don't know why I keep putting my thumb up there like this, but it works. Sorted so. For Sorted for the night and I have been craving this for over a week. I had this last week and you know what? I'm having it again because it's my birthday, one of my favourite like combinations for a meal and there's no other excuse for it really. But looking forward to getting this down me. I'm going to turn the camera off and see you guys later. Hi guys, so it's now the day after my birthday and honestly I don't know where yesterday went, it just went super quick. Overall it's just a very chill day. I did go to my mum's, we did open some presents and stuff there which I will show you what I got in a haul type video later on in the week but I just had a very chill day, the weather was absolutely rubbish, it was raining and we went to go and walk my mum's dog Freddy and it was raining then so it literally just felt like what was the point in yesterday but because we were supposed to be in America I think nothing can really compare to that so it was a little bit of a bummer day in terms of like what we would have been doing compared to what we were actually doing. You know, I'm super grateful for everything that I did yesterday and I guess it was just really nice to spend my birthday just doing really chilled stuff, being with my family and considering the circumstances, being in lockdown, it's there's not really much else you can do there's not many options available especially if the weather is really bad as well i'm vlogging now because my mum actually ordered something for my birthday yesterday but it's only arrived today so she's asked me to go down and she's going to give it to me later on so we're going to go there and see what it is see the dog again see jordan my sister's currently not at home so that's why she's not been in the vlogs so yeah i'm going to head off to my mum's now see the dog see what my mum got me and i'll see you guys soon by the way, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I hardly ever wear it up, especially in my vlogs and stuff. But do you know what? It, I'm due to wash it. So it's just kind of holding itself up. Super gross, but it is. So I've just got it up in a little scrunchy kind of thing. Because why not? That's just fine, isn't it? Open it that way. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, Millie's, Millie's cookie? Is it? What? It is, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. I've wanted this for so many years. Oh my god. No guys, honestly. I've wanted this for years. I don't even know why. It's just something I've wanted. I'm going to eat that now. So it is now Thursday. Me and Josh are currently on our way to Breen. It was literally pouring down the rain earlier, but it seems to have stopped now. Um, I've looked at the weather and it's actually going to be pretty nice in the afternoon. Cloudy, but warm. I know I keep giving you these weather updates in this vlog. I don't know why, but it's just a major factor of a day, isn't it? It just ruins the day if it doesn't go, like if the weather isn't nice. So yeah, we're on our way to Breen. We're just going to have a little look around. Just go on a nice little walk. Sorry. Um, and yeah, so we will see you guys in Bream when we, when we eventually get there. So yeah, weather's not looking too bad at the moment, so fingers crossed it stays this way. It's not too bad, it's just a little bit cloudy, so yeah. We're going to go on a little adventure. I don't know what we're going to find because there's not really much going on. Everything's shut. I don't even know if you can hear me because the wind's a little bit bad. 
Hi guys, so today is Saturday. I forgot to film yesterday and Breen on Thursday was just super windy. As you can tell from the clips before, it was just super, super windy. Everything was pretty much closed because understandably we're going through a pandemic, so everything was shut apart from a few supermarkets and a few like takeaway chip shops and stuff. We did finish the day off with a bag of chips and some curry sauce, so that was really nice. But yeah, we did manage to go on a very long walk on Thursday. We walked all the way down to Bring It Down and back, which was around six, seven miles, I think. So that was pretty cool. As I said, it was really windy, so I couldn't really vlog it. So I don't feel like it was worth trying to either. I've vlogged before when it's been pretty bad weather outside and I've just not managed to save any of the audio. So I just don't want to waste the time. Just really enjoy what I was doing at that moment. So, but yeah, I'm going to end the birthday vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me spend my birthday in lockdown. As I said, and as I've said throughout this video, it's just been a really unique, weird experience to go through. So I just thought it'd be fun to share this and document this to look back on in years to come. It was very nice to have a week off work regardless regardless of the weather and you know the lack of productivity I guess so for the rest of the weekend before I go back to work I'm just gonna be chilling we've got to do our food shop tomorrow so that's something to look forward to I guess so yeah this has been my birthday vlog if you've enjoyed watching don't forget to give this a thumbs up subscribe comment anything in the comment section below I love hearing what you guys have to say literally anything comment it and I'll get back to you guys on that don't forget to stay safe look after yourselves and others around you and I'll see you all in my next video Bye.